Hey, this is Steve from Flowmaster. Today I'm happy to introduce our new Delta Force colder intake for the 2014 and newer Ram 2500 and 3500 trucks, both equipped with a 6.4 liter Hemi motor. But please check our website for more details. Now these new Delta Force colder intakes have a black powder coated heat shield, reinforced silicone couplers, all stainless steel hardware, anodized fittings, and all systems feature an ultra trick looking durable crosslink polyethylene intake tube with a nice Flowmaster logo right in the center. Along with the large high flow conical shaped filter, it's an eight layer cotton gauze air filter ensuring that it will trap more dust and dirt particles than your typical six layer filter. And this is 100% direct bolt onto the vehicle and it's backed up by a lifetime limited warranty protecting your investment and giving you peace of mind. Now, the tools for the job are Phillips screwdriver, 5 16 nut driver, 13 16 wrench, and a 5 30 second Allen key. All Flowmaster products are dyno tuned during the development phases for maximum power gains and efficiency. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to install this Ram 2500 here. Hey, we're in the shop today. We have a 2017 Ram 2500 equipped with a 6.4 liter Hemi motor. We're going to get this old intake system off and put on the new Delta Force colder intake. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to start off by removing the engine cover. We're going to disconnect the sensor, loosen up the clamp here at the throttle body. Disconnect the breather hose and then unclip this top lid and go ahead and remove this as all as one unit and then remove the air filter. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and remove this oil cap and then we're going to pull straight up on the engine cover. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and loosen up the clamp at the throttle body. Okay, okay next we're going to go ahead and disconnect the sensor and then we're going to go ahead and remove it from the intake tube. So we're just going to go ahead and squeeze the pigtail. Just unclips, and then we're going to turn it counterclockwise, then straight up, and go ahead and remove the sensor. Next, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this breather. We're going to push down this button, and just pull it off. Okay. Okay, next, we're going to go ahead and unclip the top lid here. There's four clips, one right here, two here on the side, and then one in the very back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull this off the throttle body. Then we're going to go pick up on this and then push back towards the motor. So let's come right off. And then we'll go ahead and pull the air filter off. All right, we got that stock intake system off the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and reuse one part, which is going to be the sensor here. But first, we're going to go ahead and start off with the heat shield. And we're going to go ahead and put on the air filter adapter. Now, this is going to go on the inside of the heat shield. And we're going to line up the three holes. And with the supplied hardware, we're going to go ahead and bolt this down. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put on the heat shield gasket. Now this may come on excess length, so you may need to trim it to fit your heat shield. Okay. okay, next we're going to go ahead and put some parts on the intake tube. First, we're going to go ahead and start off with the grommet. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the hole. Okay. okay, next we're going to install the factory air temp sensor into the grommet. But first, we're going to go ahead and remove the factory o ring off the sensor here and just peel it off. Now, we'll go ahead and put this in the grommet. Okay, once we get the sensor installed, make sure that your tab is going back towards the throttle body. Okay, next on the intake tube, there's a hole here for a mass air sensor. Now in certain years, there is no mass air sensor, so you're going to have to use the block off plate. Now on this particular vehicle, this does not have a mass air sensor, it just has an air temp sensor. So we're going to go ahead and install the block off plate. We're going to use the new supplied gasket and the screws. And then we're going to go ahead and install this. Now you want to make sure you tighten down the screws evenly so you get a proper seal. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install the anodized fitting on the port here on the intake tube. Now on certain years, there's going to be a certain setup on to which anodized fitting to go with. Now in this particular year, we're going to go ahead and just put the quick disconnect and it's going to go to that factory hardline breather. Now on other years, you may have to remove the whole plastic hardline breather and replace it with a rubber hose. So that's what these other fittings are for. 
So again, go ahead and check your model to figure out which application you're going to need. And the reason for this setup is going to be due to this length here. It's going to be a little bit shorter and it won't quite reach this setup here if you have the quick disconnect. So again, on this vehicle, we're just going to go ahead and install the fitting here. That's going to have just the quick disconnect. That's going to go to that factory hardline breather. Now you want to make sure you put some Teflon tape on the threads. We'll go ahead and just tighten this down. Okay. And next, we're going to go ahead and put the reinforced silicone coupler on to the air filter adapter. That's going to be this one here with the hump in the center. Now we're going to go ahead and just snug this up. You want to leave it loose so you allow for some adjustment once it's in the vehicle. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put on the other reinforced silicone coupler. This has got a larger diameter on one side and a smaller one on the other. The larger diameter is going to go on the intake tube right next to the sensor here. So we're going to go ahead and install the coupler onto the intake tube. Now we're going to go ahead and just snug down the clamp. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install the air filter onto the air filter adapter inside the heat shield here. Now we're going to go ahead and just tighten this up. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install the heat shield into the vehicle and then we're going to go ahead and put the tube in after that. You want to make sure that these tabs all go through the holes on the box first and then you can drop it down in place. Once it's down, I go ahead and clip it in, just like factory. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put the intake tube on the reinforced silicone coupler on the heat shield side first. And then we're going to go ahead and install it onto the throttle body. Now I want to make sure you take the reinforced silicone coupler and you push it up all the way against the throttle body. And now you can see it's hitting the stop right here. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamp. Okay. Okay, next we're going to take the intake tube and we're going to push it up against the reinforced silicone coupler here until it hits like the edges of these little ribs here on the intake tube. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamp. Okay, now next we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamp here at the heat shield. We're going to make sure the reinforced coupler is pushed up against the rib edges. We'll go ahead and tighten this down. Now we'll go ahead and tighten down this clamp at the air filter adapter. Okay, now next on this hardline breather hose here, this is a direct fit for this particular model. Now this is a 2017 uh, we're working on. So you can see that this will just directly fit onto the intake tube. Now in certain models, this is going to be a little bit short. If it is, what you have to do is clock this thing towards the firewall. And it just spins around. And then you're going to have to add on this adapter to the quick disconnect. It's going to have a barbed end. Then you're going to have to add a rubber hose to the anodized fitting and then route it back past the engine cover and then route it back to the tube with another fitting if you have that particular model that's a little short. Now on this model again, it is not short, so we do not have to do all this. So this will just connect right to the intake tube. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the air temp sensor. I'm gonna push this in until we hear it click. Okay. okay, we're gonna reinstall the engine cover. It's gonna slide right here in the back. Okay, then we'll go ahead and reinstall the oil cap. We're done. Okay, that concludes the installation here on the new Delta Force Boulder intake, the 2014 and newer Ram 2500 and 3500, both equipped with a 6.4 liter Hemi motor. Now, this was an easy installation, only took about 25 to 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching, and see you soon. Be sure to subscribe to our Flowmaster YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.